EFCC files against S Army Chief Kenneth Minima of 13 billion Naira fraud. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, my great people listening all over the world. We don't carry your bonga news. Come your demo this this today. You are welcome to Amaka Smart TV. Please, if you have not subscribed to our channel, please do so. And try to share our videos to your loved ones, to your families, and to your social media, to different groups. And also touch the notification bell in order to get an update anytime we post. The EFCC, that is the Economic, Finance, and the Crime Commission, has filed criminal charge against the former Chief of Army Staff. Lieutenant General Kenneth Minima over the diversion of 13 million naira, 13 billion naira meant for the procurement of armed forces, together with two other generals, and their their case has been charged to a high court of the Federal Republic of Nigeria in Abuja. Now, hear the news in details. The Economic and Finance Crimes Commission, EFCC, has filed criminal charge against the former Chief of Army Staff, Lieutenant General Kenneth Minima, over alleged diversion of 13 billion naira meant for procurement of arms. Other, other listed as defendants in the charge as charge the anti graft agency lodged before a high court of the Federal Capital Territory, FCT, are a one time chief of accounts and budget of the Nigerian Army, Major General A.U. Adetayo, as well as the former director of finance and accounts of the Nigerian Army. Brigadier General R.I. Odi. EFCC, in processes filed in court, said it, has, it had, on August 15, 2016, received a report by the Committee on the Audit of Defense Equipment Procurement in Nigeria Armed Force from 2007 to 2015, shared by AVM John Ode retired. He said, it said the report alleged that between 2010 and 2015, several billions of naira were received by the Nigerian army from the federal government for procurement of military hardware and were discovered to have been misappropriated by the senior army officers. The anti graft agency told the court that in the course of investigation conducted, it was revealed that the sum of 13 billion seven hundred and ninety eight million six hundred and nineteen thousand three hundred and nine naira was misappropriated by the following persons. Litany General. KTJ Minima retired. The former chief of army staff, Major General A.O. Adetayo, one time chief of account and budget, budget Nigeria Army, and then Colonel R.I. Odi, former director, finance and account, Nigerian Army. The sum were transferred from various accounts belonging to Nigerian Army and moved to company accounts of entities that had no business relation with the Nigerian Army. This caused hood loss to the Nigerian Army and the Federal Government of Nigeria through the unlawful gains made by the aforementioned officers who converted the monies for their personal use. The legal advice on the investigation 
opinion that a prima facie case has been sustained against the officer, EFCC added. It said, it said the outcome of the investigation led to the filing of charges against the three officers fingered in the alleged fraud. Consequently, EFCC said it wrote the Nigerian Army requesting the three officers to make themselves available for arrangement. It said it would be taking place since September 15, 2020. Meanwhile, the Federal High Court in Abuja has fixed December 9 to hear a suit the three defendants filed to challenge the legal propriety of the charge against them. The defendants, through their team of lawyers led by Mr. Mahud Magaji, San, are praying the court to determine whether in view of Section 6, 6 and 5A, 240 and 318, of the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria in 1999 Constitution as amended and in Section 113, 114, 123, 12, 123, 124, 126 and this 270 of the Armed Forces Act. Cap Cap A20 Law of the Federation of Nigeria, 2004. The plaintiffs are not subject to the charge arranged arrange, or by the court. Marita as a court of first instance to the exclusion of any other trial, trial court through the Federal High Court. The Federal High Court, the Federal High Court of the Territory and the High Court of State in respect of any offense committed by them. Whether in view of Section 270 of the Armed Forces Act, Cap A20, Law of the Federation of Nigeria, 2004, the Economic and Financial Crime Commission, the Second Defendant, or any other prosecuting agency can lawfully investigate, charge, arraign, and persecute the plaintiff. Whether by virtue of Section 123, Section 124, Section 126 of the Armed, Force, Armed Forces Act, Cap A20, Law of the Federation of Nigeria 2004, the plaintiff are not to be reported in the form of a charge to their commanding officer after the investigation of any allegation against them. Whether in view of Section 113, Section 114, Section 124, and the Section 126 of the Armed Forces Act in Cap 20 Law of the Federation of Nigeria 20 to 2004, the plaintiff can validly be charged, arraigned, and persecuted under any other law and the, other than the Armed Forces Act, Cap A20, Law of the Federation of Nigeria, 2004. Whether by virtue of Section 6, 8, 240, and 318, of the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria in 1999 Constitution as amended and in Section 129 of the Armed Forces Act, Cap A20, Law of the Federation of Nigeria, 2004. The plaintiff are not subjected to court martial, are not subjected to court martial in respect of offenses committed by them. Whether in view of Section 113, 114, 128, and 3, Section 123, 124, 126, 128, and the 4, and the Section 270 of the Armed Forces Act, Cap 820, Laws of the Federation of Nigeria, 
2004. Any court order than courts martial can entertain any charge against any of the plaintiff. Upon determination of the legal question, the plaintiff are among other relief seeking a declaration that in view of section 113, section 114, 1 and the two, 1, 2, 8 and the 3, section 123, section 124, section 126, 1, 2, 8 and the 4, and section 270 of the Armed Forces Act, Act Cap 820, Laws of the Federation of Nigeria, 2004, no court order than court martial can entertain any charge against any of the plaintiff. Similarly, a, an order of this honorable court restraining the defendant, whether by themselves, agents, previous servants, or however, called from investigating, charging, arraigning, and prosecuting the plaintiff for any alleged offenses or misconduct while subject to the Nigerian Armed Forces Service Law. Cited as defendants in the suit are the Attorney General of the Federation and the Minister of Justice and the EFCC. In any affidavit that was disposed, to by to by one Benjamin and Chi, the plaintiff said they were not allowed to explain their side of the story before ESCC rushed the matter to the courts. They told the courts that sometimes in two, sometimes in 2016 they were notified that their respective homes were mentioned in the course of the sitting of the committee on the audits of defense equipment procurement in the Nigerian Armed Forces, Armed Forces on alleged misappropriation of procurement of military hardware. And subsequently, subsequently, on 15 of August, That subsequently, on 15 August 2016, the Committee on the Audit of Defense Equipment Procurement in the Nigerian Armed Forces on alleged misappropriation of procurement of military hardware refers the case to the second defender, which is the EFCC, for further investigation. That further to the above paragraph, the EFCC came to a conclusion that the plaintiff misappropriated the sum of thirteen billion seven hundred and ninety eight million six hundred and nineteen thousand three hundred and nine that the plenty we are not allowed to explain their side of the story. They bemoan the EFCC on its own came to the conclusion that there is a prima facie case against them that the second defendant has filed a charge before the High Court Abuja and requested the Nigerian Army to release the plaintiff to collect their charges sheets in order to charge and prosecute them in the regular courts. The embattled generals argued, argued that the Audit Committee on Alleged Misappropriation of Procurement of Military Hardware only referred the case to the second defendant, which is the EFCC, for further investigation and not to proceed to file criminal charges against the plaintiffs, insisting that they are still subject to service law, that is the Armed, Force, Armed Forces Act. The plaintiff argued that if any military officer, officer under the service law of the Nigerian Army commits an offense, it is reported in form of a charge to the commanding officer of the accused person for investigation and trial if necessary. That Nigerian army has its rules and statutory mechanism for the administration of criminal justice. That military office officer under the service law can only be 
prosecuted in the court martial. That the court martial is a special court specifically made for the prosecution of persons in Nigerian armed forces. The plaintiff con contended that EFCC does not have power to arrange them with respect to offenses allegedly committed in the course of their official duties, insisting that the charge against them is unknown to law. That the EFCC is banned on subjecting the plaintiff to criminal prosecution, regardless of the extant statutory provisions that has stipulated the mood of prosecuting military officers, the plaintiff added. Meanwhile, the court gave all the parties 21 days to file their pleadings, even as it is okay the matter for hearing. So after the 21 days, they both the plaintiff and the defendant to come back to the court with their pleadings, and then it is now left for the judge to decide the case in the court. Thank you and God bless you. Please leave your comment at the comment section and try to subscribe to our channel, Amaka Smart TV. Touch the notification bell and share to your loved ones. Thank you and God bless you.